What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand vestibular testing so that you can better evaluate and treat your patients, and also pass the NPTE. There are a few vestibular tests that flow really well right after your oculomotor exam to give you added information about your vestibular system. Some of these tests and treatments will have you put the patient's head into slight flexion because that actually better orients the semicircular canals to improve. For the head shake test, you'll have the patient close their eyes, slightly flex their neck, and then shake their head left to right about 20 times. And you want them to go at least 30 degrees in each direction. You'll repeat this test in the vertical direction as well. Torsional and horizontal nystagmus will indicate a peripheral lesion, while direction changing or vertical nystagmus will indicate a central lesion. For the head thrust test, you hold the patient's head in your hand in slight neck flexion. The patient will focus on your nose as you slowly oscillate in very small movements left to right. Without telling the patient, you wanna jerk their head in one direction and then focus on their eyes. Now you do wanna tell the patient what to expect during these tests, especially if you know they have a history of cervical injury or neck problems, uh, which you'll also look into a little bit more when you're screening during your exam. You'll repeat this test three times to either side. If they're unable to focus on your nose and they have those corrective saccades, it may indicate a peripheral lesion. If they have those corrective saccades every time you're turning the patient's head to the left, then the lesion is likely on the left side. Next, you'll test the vestibulo-ocular reflex, which is where the patient will focus on your nose as they turn their head left to right. You'll repeat this same test in the vertical direction. Inability to focus on the target or symptoms like dizziness and vertigo may indicate a peripheral lesion as well as weakness of the vestibulo-ocular reflex, which I'll talk about in another video. Now the VOR cancellation test is a little bit tricky. You want the patient to focus on your nose and you hold their head and move their head as your face moves so that they're always looking straight in front of them at your nose. Corrective saccades and inability to focus on your nose may indicate a central lesion. To test dynamic visual acuity, you have the patient read a Snellen chart, and then you have them repeat it while they're turning their head back and forth. If they're unable to read three lines or more that they could read without the head turns, then this may indicate a peripheral lesion. Now remember, these tests are extremely variable depending on which portion of literature you're focusing on. This video represents what I found to be the most consistent, but if you have new or updated information, please put it in the comments so that I can update this video. One more test that may be useful to know about is called bithermal caloric testing. So you have the patient lay in supine in slight neck flexion and you'll pour warm water into, let's say their right ear. This water will activate the right semicircular canals and make your brain think that your head is moving. You should see your eyes slowly move to the left and then correct back to central. You can repeat this with cold water and the opposite should occur. This can help you determine which side a lesion is on. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. In this test, the patient focuses on a target while they shake their head pretty quickly at about one hertz. If they can't focus, then their peripheral vestibulo-ocular reflex is not functioning appropriately. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.